Hi everyone, this is Radhika here again. So this is going to be a quick video. Um, it's about time boxing, uh, the time that you think about a narcissistic person. Um, so what I've come to realize uh, since I've started up this, uh, you know, more interactions with people who watch my channel is that a lot of time uh, is spent into thinking about the narcissistic person their clan the situation that you were in with them and what happened in the situation etc etc so i get that it's a it's a very uh, natural process to try to understand what happened and why it happened and um, maybe just to come up with a logical plan of how to avoid it from happening again uh, but what i what i realize is and even in my own experience i realized it that even after you watch a lot of videos on youtube you can you know like watch channels after channels after channels of um the same content okay the things differ only a little bit um your situation is still going to be different and then you are going to take all this information from all these different channels and try to kind of put it into your own situation and uh, what that will do is basically uh, it will make you you know look at the situation from every different perspective and you will just go into that rabbit hole of just thinking about it over and over and over again and trying to see it from a different perspective every time which is totally fine it's a part of the process but there are uh, there can be a situation where you're spending most of your energy and most of your time doing just that and what that does is it hinders you from doing anything other than think about the narcissist or try to evaluate the situation or try to see it from a different point of view so it's taking away uh, from the things that you could have been doing instead of uh, you know just thinking about them or the situation all the time so what I'm suggesting is uh, if you find yourself in that situation and since now you have found out a lot of things and you're trying to, you know, get back on track and keep such people out of your life and out of your inner world, what you can do is you can uh, time box the time that you actually think about them. So in that way, what happens is you give your brain, you give your conscious and your subconscious mind a signal that this person okay they are they still hold some importance in your life because you have to give them some time and energy and thoughts because you want to resolve something you know something is unresolved in uh, whatever it is that you want to resolve so that's why your thoughts are going there that's why your energy is going there so that's okay uh, it's totally fine everyone goes through that so first of all don't beat yourself up about that uh, and then you tell your conscious and subconscious mind that okay I'm going to give this person or this situation one hour of my time every day or half an hour or how much ever is good for you and don't give a long <laughs> don't give like half a day just give like one hour max or if it's less than that that's even awesome and i can guarantee you if you keep yourself on a time boxed limit like this with time it will go down definitely so so say you decide okay one uh, every day one hour i'm going to think about uh, my covert narcissistic uh, sister or you know my covert narcissistic wife or my covert narcissistic girlfriend or my covert or my overtly narcissistic husband or something like that so you actually make that time dedicated for them and you sit down uh, hopefully in a quiet place sit, sit down with a paper and a pen and write down everything whatever comes out that day about them write it down write down all your thoughts just write it down and put it on paper and maybe make a book like that okay and what you will realize as time goes on is that when you do it over and over again you will see yourself repeating 
what you have written down so maybe you write down about some incident that happened with your covert uh, sister in law you know she she insulted you in front of a whole family or something like that you write down that incident and then maybe 3 days you don't think about it the fourth day it's going to come back so when you do this practice you do it every day say do it for 30 days do it for 40 days you will realize your thoughts are simply recycling and at some point you will realize the futility of thinking those same thoughts over and over again now thinking is free right you can easily think something and it doesn't take so much of your energy or so you think but thinking has a profound effect on how your life is getting shaped but when you write something down it becomes more solid right you are taking a thought and you are writing it down so when you write it down over and over again it wastes it spends more energy in your system you know you are writing something down so at this point you will come to a conclusion that why am i f- wasting my time over this why am i writing this down again and again so you will finally come to the conclusion that these people are not worth your time and to do that it it uh it requires a process right but thinking is very easy that's why a lot of people overthink they are anxious because thinking just it's happening in your brain and we are most of us are not very conscious of what we are thinking most of the time it's just a um, it's like a background process that keeps happening you know you are not aware of it so by actually writing down all the thoughts that you have about a narcissistic person and time boxing it you will realize that oh every day i spend like 1 hour thinking about these things over and over again and how much of my life i am spending on just thinking about these people and these people whom i don't even like whom they are the one they are the people i want to forget about the most in my life and still i am spending all this time thinking about them so when you come to that realization it will be like a flash of a uh, lightning you know you will suddenly realize how futile this is and how much how uh, you are not going to actually gain anything from it but it takes a process to get there so so i would suggest time box the time that you think about them and when you really do think about them in that time box time write it down write it down in a book and maybe in the end or on a bad day you can also take out that page in which you have put all your anger and all your frustration in and burn it in a in a safe environment <laughs> don't burn down the house but burn it in a a uh, secure safe environment and this is actually energy transmutation so the emotional energy that you have you have thought about it and you have manifested that in the earth element you know on the on the paper it it has transferred it to the earth element which is very solid you know the paper doesn't change the writing doesn't change the words don't change and then you burn it so you are putting it into the fire element to get transmuted so you can use elements like that you know to transmute your energy your emotional energy gets transferred to so water gets transferred to air you put it on paper which is earth and then you burn it which is fire so you can actually do energy transmutations in this way as well and they will make you feel lighter you will just feel it you know so just try it out and uh, see how it feels so yeah time box the time that you think about the narcissists don't waste your precious thoughts and your precious energy and your precious time on thinking about them all day you know stop stop that habit and it's in your hands to stop it um so yeah that was this video and i wish you all a lot of love and a lot of light thank you bye